Hey, welcome everybody. This is a short video I put together for us to go over and review the course, talk about the syllabus a little bit, uh, show you how to work through Canvas, and essentially just kind of cover the bases for what you should do and how to be successful in this class. The Drone 10 uh, uh, pilot license, pilot license uh, certification preparation, preparation. So without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and open up my syllabus. There we go. And I'll take a few minutes to review this with you guys. So we're here for, I know this says remote pilot certification. Um, I'm petitioning them to change the title of this course. Um, certification license. It is a license, not, not just a certification. So it's a federally federally recognized license, just like a driver's license when you get your drone, um, your remote pilot license. So it's the license exam preparation. Um, this is a non-credit course. So it's tied with our um, 12, which is the basic, basic um, drone piloting course. You don't get any um, credits for this. Uh, so it's pass, no pass, but there's still some evaluation involved. Really, it's meant to train you to and prepare you, just as the title said, prepare you to go out and take your exam. Um, so this is me. I'm Jeffrey uh, Miller, Professor Miller. Uh, you can email me, say, hey, Jeffrey, hey, Professor Miller. Um, this is my email here. Or you can also use the Canvas email to um, contact me. I don't have any phone, so uh, phone with the school. So um, email is going to be the best way to, to, to get a hold of me. Um, and yeah, since this class is online and asynchronous, uh, you're going to have to spend a lot of time, I mean, the whole time really on Canvas doing the work. So everything is posted there, uh, published and um, kind of organized on this one site through the school. Um, and that's where you're going to be doing your work. Um, we are looking at a short term um, we're starting late and it's short, so kind of an odd group of dates here, but in essence, this is a two-month class, um, from February 13 through April 16, and, uh, let's see, I do, I'm, I'm totally cool with doing, like, an office hour by appointment, and I guess it's more of a private meeting or private, um, you know, council or whatever you want to call it, but, um, I'm not having particular office hours every week uh, this semester just by appointment. Uh, but yeah, if you need to uh, reach out to me, uh, if you need to talk about something, if you have questions about, you know, taking your exam or about the material I have or whatever it is, how the course works or you're late or I don't know, something like that related to you want to talk about uh, a concern, just email me and uh, we'll set something up on the calendar and you'll use this link. Um, I do want you guys to uh, look into purchasing this book. It will definitely help you. I've I've done my best to provide as much uh, material as possible to prepare you, but um, you know, this exam is not one you want to take lightly. Let's put it that way. Um, I wouldn't call it a hard exam after you've gone through and done the studying and the preparation, i.e., this course. Um, but it's something that you are going to want to. Um, not overstudy, but have, you know, a different perspective as well as mine. And um, this 2023 uh, test prep uh, book, and you can find it right here on the Amazon link. Um, this is this is by far the best material out there. Um, and of course, yeah, I'm going to give you guys lots of digital material that that that's, you know, provided by me. Um, so yeah, the what is the P107 part 107? That's your that is, that is the recognized, um, what's called remote pilot license. Remote pilot being, you know, a fancy name for drone pilot. And um, in essence, um, you need this license to um, perform any types of services, any type of professional work, contracting work, in-house, um, you know, as a subcontractor, whatever the case may be, um, any type of professional endeavor, uh, you should, you should not, you should, you are required to have the license. Um, you know, the other thing about it too is whether you have the license or not, and you're going to fly the drone, 
the rules are the same. So the rules, the airspace, all that stuff applies in the same ways. And so if you don't know what those rules are, i.e. from preparing to take the exam and passing and getting your license, if you don't know what those rules are, you can get yourself in a lot of trouble from flying in places you're not supposed to or you know operations that are not technically allowed. Um, so it's a, it's a great way to expand your knowledge and uh, really uh, represent yourself as a professional in a drone industry. Um, you know, whether this is something that you're going to do all the time or just as kind of a part time or a skill or a tool you're going to use for your current job. I mean, having the license uh, will set you apart as uh, as a professional that 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 has gone the, the, the distance to obtain a licensure. Um, so let's go ahead and skip. I'm not going to read all these word for word. We pulled these from the outline. So you, you're welcome to go ahead and skip through this. Like I said, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory exam preparation. I'm going to go through Canvas here in a minute and you'll get a sense of like how I've broken all of these lengthy subjects down to try to simplify things a little bit easier for you guys. Just a couple quick notes. Um, since this is an online class, there's really no attendance, right? Quote unquote. So, um, and we're asynchronous. Asynchronous means there's no scheduled Zoom. So what I put out there, it's all going to be pre-recorded, pre kind of curated for you guys. And it's it's up to you. It's at your pace to log in and schedule a time for yourself to to work on the material, to submit the quizzes, to work on the assignments, that kind of a thing. Um, I mean, there is a schedule to it, but at the same time, uh, it's more like there's weeks of time to to do something. So you have a, a window of time frame and you say, okay, I'm going to dedicate my Thursday afternoon when I don't have work or whatever it is, sit down and do, you know, a couple hours for this class. That might be how it works for you. Um, so yeah, so there's no attendance um, on this, um, but if you need, I already mentioned this, if you need one-on-one -on -one support, uh, I'm happy to do a, like a Zoom meeting with you guys. Um, most of you are also in 12. I highly recommend if you're not to sign up in that, um, if you haven't done so already. Um, 12 is our in-person get together and actually fly class. Um, and so taking the both taking both courses at the same time will be really helpful. I usually spend up end up spending in-person time in that class talking about this class um, just because people have questions they want to answer in person, which is fine. Let's have a dialogue, let's have a discussion. I have no problems with that whatsoever. I think it I think it's healthy. It's the way we we used to do things, right? In 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 class and talk about it. Um, so you know that's another thing you might want to consider is if you would prefer asking questions and getting information about licensure, um, take the 12 class. And, and you know, as you're taking this class, as you're taking this class, write down notes and come ask with the group as we're all together um, on Friday mornings. Um, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, if you have no idea what I mean by 12, the 12 class, just send me an email and say, what, what, what's this other drone class you're offering? Um, it's an in-person flying class. So uh, all of the lectures and other materials, like I said, provided on Canvas, I put all my lectures on YouTube ahead of time. Um, you might notice changes to the presentation, you know, the way I look, the room. There's been, a, you know, a few things that have occurred since I recorded those videos a year or so ago, um, just in my life. But, you know, it's still me. It's still the same content. And, and generally speaking, the, the exam is, is, is the same as it was when I recorded those videos. So, um, I've updated some, uh, uh, some material, like added some new material to some of the changes that have occurred over the last year or so. Um, so it's all kind of, you know, updated as time has, you know, ne made necessary. Um, but basically what you're going to do is you're going to log into Canvas every week. Um, some of them are two weeks long, but every week, um, check it out on Monday, look through the modules, and then the modules kind of house all of the, you know, there's there's a subject title for a module and it houses all, all the different types of material, whether it be a lecture I provide or a article or articles, a quiz, uh, a discussion page, that type of a thing. <clears throat> and so it's up to you to go in and review the modules, review the material, um, do the assignments. There are four quizzes uh, built into the course, every single module except for the very first one. But yeah, so four out of five um, gonna have their own little quiz. 
So make sure you do those every time. Um, those are proctored online. So everything's done on Canvas. There's no paper, there's no Scantrons. We don't do that stuff anymore. It's it's Canvas now, right? It's Canvas. It's actually pretty cool. You get the response, you get the answers right away. Um, and yeah, same with the exam. I have a mock uh, uh, sample exam where I pulled uh, 60 sample questions, um, given you two hour time limit and tried to simulate what the um, exam experience is like. So that's gonna be your final assignment for the class, a mock uh, part 107 exam, okay? Again, that's on Canvas, so. Um, just just so we're clear, uh, when you take this course, it's preparing you for the exam. It doesn't, it's preparing you for the real exam. When I when I say real exam, I'm talking about the one through the FAA. This is just a LMC thing. We're not actually going to issue you guys pilot licenses. That's not what we're allowed to do, but we're by by no by by all means can we uh prepare you for what that exam is gonna be. And I've had several semesters of doing this. So um I think you'll be prepared to take that next step and and you have to sign up and register yourself to go take the the real exam there is a a, a exam fee i think it's about 100 it might be up to 200 bucks now i know it keeps changing like once a year they update up it <laughs> um but expect to spend about 200 dollars after you've done registration fees log you know sign up that kind of a thing um that's what you can expect. Uh, so it, yeah, like I said, not only uh, take it serious because you want to pass and get your license, but it's it's cost money. So you don't want to. There's no second attempt. I mean, there is, but you have to pay again. So uh, you're going to want to pass this the first time, and and you're doing so by being in the course. So, anyways, um, the quizzes, uh, exams. There's also discussion and participation each week, uh, where you guys are will engage with one another. So I'll show you that here momentarily when I look at Canvas. And uh, I know that this is pass, no pass, but I mean, there has to be some method for me to evaluate if you've passed, right? And so basically what I did is I said, okay, if you got, here's here's points broken down, and instead of giving you A, B, C, and D, if you've completed, uh, uh, earned 75% of the overall points, then you've passed the class. And, you know, really this is not meant to be a hard class. Uh, I think those that apply themselves and really engage with the material and and uh, do the participation, the discussion participation, um, watch the, 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 the content I provide, study with the book. I mean, you know, like I said, nine times out of 10 students that come through my course, they'll pass this class if they try. Um, and then, you know, there's a, there about half of them, half of those will, will go on and say, okay, yeah, this is for me. I'm going to, I'm going to take my real test. I wish I had a, a monitor to, uh, to see how many, um, part 107s I've actually helped throughout the years. It's really more of an arbitrary, they contact me or we still we st stay in touch and they say, Hey, but guess what? I passed my test. Um, anyways, so I, I, I have full confidence that this will, this will help you and prepare you for a bright future in the drone industry. Um, if you are a DSS student, please contact me so we can make accommodations uh, for your test taking times and other things. Um, and yeah, everything we do here, you know, academic integrity, it's in your best interest to um, do this work individually. Um, you can't, when you go take the real test, you're in a little box, they, um, a little cubicle, they're monitoring you. There's no way you can pull off cheating in the real one. So it doesn't really do you any good if you cheat in this course. Um, but I'm not super duper worried about that. Got to throw it in though anyways. Um, okay, so let's take a look at Canvas now. I'm looking at the Drone 10N Canvas site. And so there's several things happening here, but once we start to break it down, it's pretty straightforward. Um, I put several little blips here in the course information. So like if you wanted to know, hey, what's the textbook look like? It, it looks like this. And you can order it on Amazon or through the, the bookstore right there on campus. Um, if you're on campus and you know you have the, the time to do that. Um, 
So there's that. Um, yeah, for those that are not enrolled in 12, I, I just put this little promotional video together. Um, we use it on our website, but I really highly recommend uh, you consider it if you have the time to make it out Fridays at 9 a.m. That's when we do our 12 class and you could take both at the same time. It's also a free course. Um, so why not, right? Uh, yeah, you're also eligible for a certificate. Um, this is not FAA certificate. This is a, a certificate from LMC saying, you know, you took these two classes. Um, congratulations, but it's not recognized by the industry or anything like that. It's just kind of a little token for you. And then when you're going to do an office hour with me, uh, just use this link here after we've scheduled a time together and, uh, you know, we'll be there and talk. So um, I'm looking at every single one of these kind of rows here. These Each one is a, is a, uh, a module. Let me close this one. Each one of these is a module. Okay. And uh, what I've done is I've outlined week by week. So every one of these is a, a different Monday that we start the week, that we start a week. And um, so if we click on this first one here, now, if you're in 12, you'll notice this is the same one. Just so you know, it is the same content, okay? The first week is the same exact content. Um, but, you know, the gist of how to do it is, is uh, we'll walk through here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip that. Let's do this one first um, as we're explaining since we have a quiz also. So you're gonna come in and you're gonna say, hey, what's FAA rules and regs all about, right? Well, so I'm gonna click on this here, lesson objectives. And, you know, I give you like a very short, this is what you're going to be doing in the next, you know, several pages and slides, et cetera, et cetera. This is the expectations. Okay. So, um, yeah, learn the rules and the regulations of the FAA P107. That's the goal for here. Um, now you can go back and you can go, you know, to the home or the modules and kind of bring you back to this space here, or you can, um, you're going to have to get very familiar with Canvas. I mean, it, it's uh, it's it's how this course works. You can also click the next button, whatever works best for you. So I've put together um, PowerPoint materials um, here, and they're not super duper long, but you you know you'll see what I'm talking about here. Um, I kind of like to go back to the home screen and see the big picture. You'll see the PowerPoints. Um, you'll see my video lectures here. So if you click on this, um, and then you click here. That'll take you to YouTube where you can watch my videos um, as I basically just lecture you guys about the the uh, the PowerPoint itself. OK, so let's go. Let's uh, get out of that. Boop. OK, so that should help you um, initially here. Now, I think every module. Not everyone, but most modules, except for the safety one, are going to have some type of like extra material, like add-on materials, right? So here's one where I added a link as well. And this is some of the updates to the flying over people and the night operations. Um, so yeah, if, if, as I as I find, um, Reach out to as I find uh, material, uh, you know, when things change, I try to update and just continue to add to this course. So really watch all of this stuff. It's, it's actually very all relevant and things that you'll get uh, tested on on uh, when it comes to the exam. So um, in this first, well, I guess it's module two, but this first kind of FAA rules and regulation, you'll see quiz one. Okay, so um, quiz one, 25 points due on February 26. Um, the idea is from the 20th to the to, until the 26th, you have a week to review, study, take notes, and then come in and take your quiz. Um, the quizzes are not long. They're like 10 questions, 10 questions each, uh, multiple choice. I might add some questions to them to, to expand a little bit, um, but I, I'll do that kind of in the background. Um, but anyways, like I said, it's all related to, like in this case, the FAA rules and regulations. This is the, this is the quiz for this particular module. Um, and so you can take the quiz first or you can do the discussion first. I don't care which order you do them in. Um, the important thing is that you also fulfill the duty of taking a, uh, um, uh, writing up a little discussion blurb. So there's nothing here now, but um, what the ex what I expect is to see that every single person has added some little contribution to this uh, discussion page. And, you know, I'm not looking for, um, uh, you know, a full 
one page for one to five page worth essay here. That's not the point. It's, you know, at the same time, I also don't want one word or one sentence answers. I'm looking for productive, engaging, uh, you know, discussion as if we were sitting in the room together, since we don't have that opportunity to do so per se, um, the chance is to, you know, write out what your feelings were about the the material and the the content and even ask questions right like hey this didn't really make sense like or that's odd or and and i come in and and, and i check them and uh from time to time i'll res i'll i'll reply to them but it's really a more of a, a space for you guys as students to engage with each other right you never know who you might end up meeting uh in one of these courses uh, i have several students that still collaborate with each other after the course uh has concluded so that's your expectation. Um, come in, uh, fulfill all of the, you know, watch all the material, read all of the things that I've posted here. Um, and then whatever assignments I have um, uh, assigned in the module, complete them by their due date. Now this is due by February 26th, but you can complete it by February 21st. I don't care. Um, as long as you do it by the due date, then you're good, right? Um, so yeah, we've got... Uh, this is just an introductory one, but then we've got FA rules and regulation, some safety, decision making, weather um, discussions, um, and then the airspace and section charts is where the the, the most challenging uh, kind of non intuitive pieces of of the exam are gonna are gonna kick in. And so what I've done is I've given you guys here. I'm actually gonna write this out real quick. Um, I've given you guys two weeks each to um, work on the airspace material and notice that there's more lectures or there's more there's more material in general to review um, here um, by a little bit. But like I said, by no means is this course meant to overwhelm you. It's a it's a training for exam lic uh, license exam preparation. Right. Um, but uh, yeah, I want you guys to review all this material. And, and again, like I said, you get a little extra time so you can ask me questions because some of this stuff is, is, is a little bit deeper. Same with the section charts, right? This is where you review the maps and look at how much more material I added to this section, right? You still have a quiz and a, and a discussion to finish, uh, but, there's, but there's quite a bit more going on here, okay? Um, let's put two weeks on this one too. There you go. Okay. And uh, yeah, so we close these, we finish all these. So like I said, week by week, uh, do your do what's necessary. And then we will have the spring break uh, on the 27th. So it's kind of like a weird time because it's not quite at the end, but kind of cuts us off from finishing the course per, right at that moment. But um, I'm not giving you guys any assignments on this week per se. I mean, You've got this section chart thing, which uh, these are not due until the ninth. So I guess you could work at the work on them over the break, but I'm not assigning it to you necessarily. Um, and then on the tenth of April will be when you take your final exam. That'll be the week of your final exam, I should say. You have until the sixteenth of April to turn it in. Um, or, you know, to submit it. And again, it's all on Canvas. So uh, to take the exam, you click this little link and boom, you, you're there. Um, yeah, I mean, I've got my exam. I've tried to put some sample exams from other uh, places out here too. Um, I, I really am a proponent of free material. Uh, there's just so much of it when it comes to the um, remote pilot license that I feel... Um, you can you can you can you can be diligent enough with the free stuff and 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 make sure you study enough to 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 still be successful um so that's my goal is to provide as much free content <laughs> that you signed up for um but yeah provide as much content as possible to make you guys successful and after you pass your final one uh the, after you after you take and pass this sample exam it should you know, kind of get you prepared to be like, I'm ready. Let's go do this right away. Go take my real exam. And, and, you know, you'll be, you'll be, you'll be, the exam experience should be very similar to what you, you go through here. Okay. The real exam experience. So that's about it. Um, 
don't have much else, I guess. Um, just wanted to put this out there to help you guys um, kind of get introduced and um, kind of get the ball rolling um, and hope that you find this course useful and helpful. Um, I know most of you are going to be also in my 12 class. If you're not, like I said, I'm just reminding you, sign up for it. Um, it's it's best when everybody is in both. Um, you know, it, it just really makes a big difference because you're all going to speak the same language when, when we meet in person. Um, yeah. Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good rest of the day and uh, take care of yourself now. Bye for today.